not do, and that's the hardest. Learning to shut up when you should, and not <coughs> say anything, and not distracting, that is hard sometimes. Well, mm -hmm. hand signal, curving, let the dog be curious, that's also hard. Some people, I said, when I have them in my yard and they come for the first time and the dog is starting to go around exploring, if they take two steps away from the owner, the owner gets like this. My goodness. So they are so used to having control of the dog all the time that they cannot even let the dog go around. You have to let yourself have the habit of Letting the dog have that possibility. Let the dog choose where to sleep without interrupting and deciding where he's going to sleep. Split up when you should help your dog. Go in between. That's one of the most amazing uh, methods. You will see it on the uh, dogpulse.org. Uh, Agnes has some films out there. Absolutely incredible. Give your dog freedom to move when possible, not 24-7. If that's not 